Why peace nuxiok is squeezed in a Jilia Whitaker. And I just greeted you in my traditional language, which is in Sokchin. I'm a uh, Sinaik's descendant of the Colville Confederated Tribes of Washington State in the US. I'm a lecturer of American Indian Studies at California State University, San Marcos in California. And I'm also one of three series editors of the new Cambridge University Press Elements series called Indigenous Environmental Research. Clint. Hello, everyone. My name is Clint Carroll. I'm a citizen of the Cherokee Nation and associate professor in the Department of Ethnic Studies at the University of Colorado at Boulder. I'm also a series editor for, uh, of this exciting new series. We seek to publish digital and print monographs between 20 and, th and 30,000 words, providing speedy analyses of environmental, cultural, and political dynamics that relate directly to indigenous concerns around the globe. Joy. Which is Gaelic for uh, may your God be with you. Um, the Irish, I'm Irish, were both colonized and colonizers. And um, that's one of the reasons why I'm interested in this field. I'm professor of indigenous and environmental history and run the Treated Spaces Research Group at the University of Hull. Um, I'm also a series editor and I'm very grateful that Dina and Clint have agreed to be part of it. We created this series to make indigenous environmental research central across disciplinary boundaries within the social sciences humanities and STEM. Uh, Matthias? Hello everyone, uh, my name is Matthias Wong. I am a postdoctoral research assistant at Treaty Spaces Research Group at the University of Hull, and I am the associate editor for this exciting new series. So Joy, you brought us all together for this project. What drove you to create this team? I felt that the time was right for Indigenous voices and non-Indigenous voices to really put Indigenous thinking to the front of people's minds across the policy sector and across different disciplines. I feel that uh, the world is now ready to listen in new ways to the messages that are they're very much ready to be spoken out there. Dina? Well, Cambridge has been at the forefront of publishing scholarship on traditional ecological knowledge with this book, uh, this edited collection called Traditional Ecological Knowledge, um, which has been really central to my own teaching. Um, and, and so Cambridge demonstrates their commitment to advancing the field. I really like the innovative approach that the Element series brings, and I was really honored to have been asked by Joy to be a co-editor. Clint. Yeah, I was also excited about the broad goals of this series um, and the novel format of Cambridge Elements. Um, that combined with a stellar team of leaders in the field was enough to convince me that this was definitely something to be a part of. I guess a big question that um, people might have is why is this series important? Why do it now? Joy. Well, one reason is to put the this app episode of colonialism that we've just lived through into perspective and allow us to see it in terms of deep time as something that can be emerged from and that we can think of new ways to relate to the land and to relate to each other uh, in, in what's hopefully becoming a, a more fully post-colonial world. Dina? Well, we're in a moment where we can recognize that Western technology and worldviews have led to the increasing precarity of human sustainability on a global scale. And research increasingly confirms the inner linkages of climate change, biodiversity and cultural diversity, and the critical role of indigenous knowledge in these and other aspects of environmental theory uh, and management. Yeah, it's also a burgeoning field. So now is a really exciting time for indigenous environmental research. So we wanna showcase all the incredible new work that we know is out there. It's critical for the field to be represented in this accessible and novel format. 
So we seek to bring the full breadth of thinking on indigenous environmental themes into dialogue and relationship because doing so is vital to solve the world's wicked, ever more complex problems. Joy? I think it's safe to say this is something we all really believe in and we're keen to work with you as authors on emergent problem-driven scholarship in relation actually to the full panoply of environmental concerns. So everything from applications of traditional ecological knowledge to perhaps discussions of food sovereignty to indigenous approaches to conservation or green finance, urban planning, indigenous futurities are something we're all keen to receive ideas and abstracts on, including stuff on the indigenous presence in the metaverse or how it might potentially shape up, and anything to do with technological applications and innovation. In short, we're open to a whole range of approaches and methodologies from multiple disciplines, anything that pushes the boundaries of how we think about environmental issues. So we've spoken a little bit about the elements and the formats of this new novel format. Uh, it kind of sits between a traditional journal article and a traditional monograph. Why might authors be interested in publishing an element rather than any of the other formats? Tina? Well, because we're publishing monographs of 20 to 30,000 words, you can showcase emergent work and work that is liable to spark debate, set new agendas, or powerfully inform public policy um, quickly. Anything, in fact, likely to change the world for the better in relation to Indigenous en environments, however we define them. Clint, what are your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the short format, but also in print and digital format, uh, allows authors scope uh, for including uh, associated material and images uh, to be greater than with conventional formats. Uh, so the distribution of these Cambridge series, the Element series, is international. Your work will sit within the Cambridge Core platform, but will be available for uh, affordable print on demand. Also, elements in indigenous environmental research are a great way to get leading research notice quickly within, within and beyond your field. The peer review process is rigorous, but we welcome proposals from any context and we publish excellence wherever we can find it. Joy? We can publish your work within just 12 weeks of acceptance of the manuscript, meaning we can publish your ideas while the issue is still live and at the forefront of people's consciousness. You will also be able to update your monographs from time to time, thus keeping you and your work current and fresh. As the associate editor for the series, I'm managing the submission process. I can speak a little bit about who we think might publish with us. Uh, we're very open to different forms of authorship, single authored or collaborative work, uh, to experimental work, or to work intended as an accessible intervention for policymakers. We also welcome writing that's explicitly from a single tribal or personal perspective or from novel collaborative perspective that honors indigenous authorship practices and that speaks for the land. So as a first step, get in touch with me, Matthias Wong, via email at matthias.wong at how.ac.uk. That's h-u-l-l dot ac dot uk. Uh, and provide a 250 word abstract and a 250 word biography. Also, feel free to email any of us with a pitch, a sense of what the idea might be. And if it sounds like it will fit within the series, we can work together with you on putting together a proposal. On behalf of all the editors, I think I can say that we all look forward to working with you. So, buikas, uh, meaning, well, you know, thank you and may your God go with you going forward. Um, we really mean it when we say that we're open to listening to your ideas and to working with you and to putting forward the very best version of your work and the most interesting things that the field has got to offer. Lem Lamt and echoing joy, I think that we're at the beginning of a really exciting journey together. And I, I along with my uh, colleagues here, really look forward to that journey and to working with you all as we produce some amazing scholarship together.
EJ Yali Hey, EJ, huh? Thanks for watching. We're really excited to see your ideas and engage with your work.